New Zealand's Commonwealth Games medal Russian thralls Kiwi fans. Opinion, time, it goes so fast when you're having fun? On Monday night, New Zealand's lumpy sofa slouchers grew ever more rapidly short of breath as our finely tuned Commonwealth Games athletes delivered healthy returns. As Principal Magius Tutli said in Greece, if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. And that's what Kiwis did as their sporting representatives won four gold and two silver medals overall on an evening of entertaining excellence. It was a hectic few hours of highlights and heroics. David Leti became our new favorite fat guy. He usurped Tom Walsh in the troll around the same time the Titanic to Maria Vian was also winning gold. Walsh cooled and reproduced his best but it was enough to grab the gold he missed in Glasgow. The 166 kilograms lead I blew a kiss to the judges and stole our hearts as he won the Leviathan class in men's weightlifting, and then finished the night by guiding injured silver medalist La Titi Lu of Samoa off the stage from behind his wheelchair. Joel King squashed Sarah Jane Perry. Finally ensuring her English rival stayed quiet while Paul Call took silver in the men's final. Sophie Pascoe remained Denzi's queen of the pool as she collected her second gold from as many events. Pascoe's efforts have taken their toll. But such are her towering expectations that she's the only one unhappy with two golds. It wasn't all frothy beer though, as Laurel Hubbard got skittled in the woman's plus 90 kilograms weightlifting. This country's trailblazing transgender athlete seemed set to win gold but injured her elbow during an unsuccessful lift. A supportive crowd collective groaned as she winced in pain, and then felt her pain again when it was announced she could continue. Then it was a case of where has your gold gone, Miss Robinson, as a nation turned its sympathetic eyes to her. Para-athlete Holly Robinson set a new world record with her first throw in the woman's F-46 javelin and that held until fierce rival Holly Arnold of Wales set a new mark and snatched gold with her last hurl. When the appreciative fans were finally tuckered out and tucked up in their beds, stuff colleague Liam Hyslip and I were still here, trying to describe what we'd witnessed. And now I'm meant to take the last train for the coast. If I had a plane, I still wouldn't make it on time.